<laughs> Booming around here, huh? Good thing with another baby on the way. We ain't kin, so fuck off. Mr. Clay, I appreciate you being around here. The smell of the ocean, the smell of the ship is the bad. I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I ain't never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you. I take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, I'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> I'm 
Johnny ain't the kind of guy to just walk away from a fight. You heard what happened. Hey, Paulie. Forgot your wallet in my office. Don't distract me. Uh, this is a great use of my time. Turns out you broke as well as irresponsible. Something stinks around here, and it ain't me. Keep talking. No one's listening. You figured out, boy. up on. <laughs> this new manager won't spring for new fans. But Oh. 
So anyway, the guy challenges Swag to a race for pink slips, but the asshole turns pussy. Doesn't show. And that's his car? Nah, that's the car Mr. Pagani bought after he ran that piece of shit over with his other one. Are you serious? Wayne's meat tires. <laughs> what a fucking mess. All right, I better get back in there. You gonna be okay? Uh, sure. Well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right? It could be the reason Frank has to get a new car. <laughs> This is Can't wait to kill your dumb ass. Don't take more than you to hurt me. Looking over here now. I think he's over here.
Hey, over here. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in a cell upstate around Easton. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. These boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Break him in half! Light him up with a Molotov! Fire coming down! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There he is! I'm fucking scared! Oh. Murdering us! Get that stupid son of a bitch! Shouldn't have come here. Set his ass <laughs> on fire! Oh. 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 That stupid son of a bitch!
Huh? You just think you're here. Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire into your ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Hey, man. Choke the life out of you!
fast as you can. Spider one, boys. The fuck? <laughs> See if you can find that book. You creeping around back here. Look at Obi. Show yourself. Wonder if he's over there. Flush him out. We got ourselves a guest. I spotted him. Over there. We gonna find your ass, boy. God, this is the way you. Oh, yeah. Where is he? Settle now, him. You got a score. Settle now. You can have him when I'm done. That's a dip shit. Get out here! Here's another one! Oh. Yes, 
Infernal. He, he's over here. Oh, oh shit, I'm shot. now, Junior. If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. Okay, my boys are gonna come over and make sure it's all nice and locked down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Hey, Lincoln. You think maybe there might be an extra car around here? I could, you know, have my daughter's 16th coming up. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later.
Working for my condo used to be a life for good. My daddy, my uncles. Sure, they saw some action, but they always... Looks like the place. Old. What's your point, kid? Just feels like I missed out on the best times. Golden age. Don't fool yourself. Golden age still got a lot of folks dead. One way or another. Frank, when he drove up, old bastard looks like he's age 20 years. Between Castro, we got ourselves again. He's firing, firing now. Fight, get in your car. Get out of here. Oh. I'm assuming we ain't grabbing a beer after this. <laughs> Did anything to you? It's all some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please, I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen, what you saw, Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth his shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew on account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Mulcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. No. No. Fuck! I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster.
Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This here's our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. Yeah, sure thing. I get it. But don't forget, my guys stepped up for you. They're working that hideout like it was already theirs. And it should stay that way. Except for the tiny little detail that my men secured the other hideout. And we did it with a hell of a lot more style. Until they to change your main lot. I can handle both rockets without any of the bitching these two got going on right now. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. This agreement we had, it ain't gonna last. What's the word, Lincoln? We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. Who's it gonna be, Lincoln? You know I can handle this. You and me, we have an understanding, right? Don't let some white boy rush you. Take your time. The Haitians will run this part of the city. It ain't a hard concept. If you ain't sliding the action my way, then don't ask me to lock it down. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holler and here. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sadie and a bottle of Shane waiting. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The night he... Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal. Is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself, so he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats, so his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez, so he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.
They should have towed down that amusement park years ago. Possibly. as they hold the broken bodies of their dead. Watch yourself, man. Who we shooting? Didn't you hear? We're about to find ourselves in the middle of a race war. I've seen you shoot. I think I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, with this fucking rifle, I'm Wild Bill Hickok. So, how's the Padre handling all this? You know, the bloody path of mayhem and revenge you've embarked upon? Still not happy about it. Thinks you're most likely the devil. <laughs> you know, I had a look at his service record. Oh, settle down. I was just curious. He was a medic, but he saw action at Klimbaugh with the 614th. He was credited with taking out two crowd tanks on top of the 16 men he shot. A lot of killing for a would-be priest. That was different. It was during a war. And this isn't? Look, I'm just saying, we didn't win that war by worrying about hurting someone's feelings. We won it by bombing the Krauts and Nips back to the Stone Age. The Padre'd be wise to remember that. Yeah, maybe. I'll catch you later. You're not still sore about me looking into the Padre, are you? Don't tell me you weren't at least a little curious. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one of them. Units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Hello there, young man. You Purdue? Grant Purdue. You like the place? I'm thinking. Yeah, so how are you mixed up with Marcano's organization? Friend, I own and run department stores. But with this economy, well, I've got a lot of extra inventory, clothes, electronics, you name it. An old friend, Artie Higgins, says to me, Grant, it's all insured. Let me take it off your hands. You mean you let him rob you? My trucks, yeah. It was just supposed to be a one-time deal, but heck, Artie just won't stop. I can't take the fall here. Where's Artie take the trucks? He never told me, but last time we talked, I got the impression he was going to offload them to someone else. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, 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 fence? Grant, if I find your stuff, it's likely going up in flames. Well, whatever you have to do to stop Artie. My gosh darn insurance has dropped me. Says I'm high risk. Can you believe that? <sighs> you bring me that truck, there's money in it for you. Artie's got some of his men working around South Downs. Thieves, all of them. I'll see what I can dig up. In the meantime, you stay out of sight. 
really think you should see what all these guys know about my trucks. You're gonna tell me about Artie's hijacking racket. The boss had a huge haul he's been planning to sell off. I know where it's gonna go down. Thanks for your help. Stay on your toes, you hear me? Focus on the job. On me. Huh? Huh? That didn't sound right. Stop distracting me. Huh? What for you put your hand? So sorry about that. Stay on your toes. You hear me? Wasn't even listening. Wasn't even listening. Huh? Shh. Huh? Ain't this a good time? Yep. Where you at? Come on. We got a job to do. I know I heard something. Ain't safe here! Oh. 
Shit's closed. Beat it. You're oh, in. Oh, yeah, shoot Fuck. it for fuck's sake. Up, motherfucker. We got another man. Put you down, son. Come on, cocksucker. You don't buy it. I got ten guys who will. I'm not sure that's a fair price. You ain't gonna find it at this price anywhere else in town. I want one, but not that bad. Somebody over there. Who is that? We need to move! job and find him. Some of this cash banked. I'm in South Downs. Hold your horses. I'll get to you. Got something I can hang on to for you? Better not lose this. Okay, I'm good to go. Coming hey. through. All right, get out.
going to Chubb's funeral? Too many fucking funerals lately. Fucking Vito, man. Didn't think you had it in him. Taking out Bull and his whole goddamn crew? Chubbs was loyal as hell. Loved working for Bull. Did he just get married? Yeah, he married that little redhead used to work the desk at the Dock Union. Ellen? Ellen, yeah. I guess he knocked her up some. Jesus. To Chubbs. My God, is it still hot to sin down here? I don't know how you people stand it. Talk to me in March when you and your old later up in Empire Bay slipping on black ice. So how's it looking? Like you robbed half this city, right? So I can tell Artie you're pleased? Been dealing with Artie a long time, and he ain't never disappointed me. Just get more cigarettes next time. We can always sell cigarettes.
Artie's be... Well, if Artie called me a bit ago, spent 20 minutes chewing my behind all the pieces, told me he wanted to meet me at, um, at Mama Rigetti's Bakery, wherever that is. Don't worry. Won't take me long to find it. Well, I'm glad you're going after him. No one raises his voice at Grand Purdue, but uh, the nerve. Word of the wise, don't get in bed with mobsters. You'll live longer. So, what did he say the plan was? Sweet me says keep doing what we're doing. If somebody's coming at us, it's only a matter of time before they show up here. How do you get past us? Go see what we're dealing with. I will find you, boy.
Their cab must have took off. Boy, see that? I knew it. I knew it. I can't fucking believe it. Maybe this will help. If I'm gonna keep hold of the South Downs, I'm gonna need some help. Sure, I'll send my guys. But when it comes time to hand over the district, I expect to be running all the rackets. Not some, all. I become a priest. Every bad thing you experience, every trauma, they they never leave you. Sure, you might forget about them for a while, but when the next one comes along. No matter how slight, it brings everything back. It reminds you of the weight you've been lugging around. I knew I couldn't carry all that on my own. Hey, Lincoln. Checking the place out? Marcano had a pretty good operation going here. But we're working on putting it to shame.
He's been pushing for the Aussie and Harriet thing since his folks left. I get it. Defense, house, rugrats, whatever. That's never been me. Hmm. She comes over all heated. You're gonna have to put on a bra. Oh. Not cool. We know each other? Huh. You're sweet Danny Little. <laughs> you follow boxing? Some. A friend who worked for my old man was obsessed. Said you go to distance. You got that championship match coming up, right? Yeah, that's kind of why I need your help. These Marcano cats. Man, they got this dude called Two Dicks Peralta running a sports book out the Wilcox Saloon. Comes up to me while I'm sparring. Tells me I gotta go down in the fifth. Or else. What'd you say? She told him kiss my ass. Next day, somebody broke my brother's arm in three places. You all right? It's how they do. I hear two dicks even grabbed with that boy Eddie Kenner. Except I think two dicks got his eye on Eddie doing some off-book fighting for him. You hear things about nigga fights here and there. Make a lot of money if you know how those fights go in. Christ. I'll go after two dicks people, see if I can find out more about how he runs things, maybe even find Eddie. Start talking to Peralta's people if you want to know what he's up to. Please be more careful. Weekend. We'll be glad to have you. My it got heated, and that's the problem. And I'm supposed to take some shit from a tourist over a card game. Yeah, it's just words. You got his money? Besides, it's not like he can go to the cops and tell him he lost his titty bar money in a street card game. You want to play another hand? Fire for fire! Ah! What time is it? Tell me about two dicks gambling racket. The boss has been keeping some nigga fighter on ice. I can show you where. Rest in peace, asshole. She's touched in the head. Tell me, what kind of grown woman keeps dolls? I'm certain that wasn't Not just one or two either. Dozens of them. Sorry Literally that. dozens. Just staring down when you walk into that moldy estate of hers. Excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Sorry about that. I wanted to tell her comic books didn't do me any harm. And they weren't doing our little girl any harm either. But the hell was that? All set to fight it out. And I just let it drop. 
Last two showing. I suppose. Just because I got a shotgun in our house doesn't mean I want any guns in it. Ugh. Where's that garlic smell coming oh, from? It's all excited because the football teams are merging or something. Oh, excuse me. Run! <laughs> I insist that you apologize. Pardon me. I must be the only person the only in this town who doesn't like whiskey. Last weekend. What else is there? Huh? Go check this out. I guess it's easier to get rid of Bobby Air. No, 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 I think maybe we need new dice. It's not the dice. You should quit by your head. It's just one more game. Y'all come we'll on over this weekend. We'll be glad to have huh? you. How you doing, man? The hell was that? Huh? Circle round him. 
Blood's going down. Ah, ah, shit. Another one. There you are. Got him dead to rights. Follow me. <laughs> I'm never gonna call for help! It's only a matter of time till I find you. This one. You looking for trouble? What? You think I learned to stay away from the crap? Uh, call. It's feeling a little light, fellas. Might have to fold after this one. Took Marty to the opera one time. Snore through the whole thing. What the shit was that? Let me out of here! Yeah, and you was late again <laughs> this morning. I'll tell you what, that paper boy and gang... Ah, uh, call. <sighs> All it's feeling a little light, fellas. Might have to fold after this one. Well, I guess this still beats the day job. Cover! There! Cut that sack of shit down! 
dropping like fucking flies. I'm boxed in a fool! Oh, I have your attention. You can die. I'm not ready to die. I'm not fucking ready, man. Turn to come here. I'm not ready to die. I'm not fucking ready, man. Beat the fuck out of me. Steve awake, but Gunna didn't deserve to go down like that. Now, I got Tommy busting balls to keep the blow back round to a minimum. In God's name. All right, tough guy. Now it's my turn. Yep. Find this stuff all over the city. It's not like it's hard. I just never had the time for it. Give me a beer, maybe a whiskey. And I'm all in this area connected. If you know what I mean. Oh Lord, I'm calling the police. No, there's a mess of trouble here. Please help. All units report of a car being stolen in South Downs. Suspect is described as a Negro male. Response requested. <laughs> Folks don't want to play. I don't know what you've been doing, but two dicks came by the gym. The man was pissed. What'd he say? Got into a, one of the fighters, pulled his gun, waved it around. Heard him tell one of his boys to be back at Wilcox Saloon. You go on and get back to training for that fight. I'll deal with that asshole.
Let's get some of this cash banked. I'm in South Downs. Be there soon. Got Better something not I can hang us. on to for Guess you. our business is done here. used to know their place. Now they want to take ours. Mm -hmm. I would have made an ass load of money on that fight. Yeah? Well, who the fuck thought someone would bust Eddie Kendall's ass loose? Fuck. Who knows they're gonna cancel the fight or what? Shit. Yes. Old two dicks ain't gonna be happy taking that kind of hit. Tommy neither, for that matter. They keep saying the hippies are well-intentioned, but misunderstood because of the way they dress. I told them what they're wearing has nothing to do with it. It's their draft dodging cowardice that's offensive to me. You're embarrassing I know it's now. impossible, but part of me wishes we had politicians willing to admit what we really need to do around here. Make New Bordeaux a dry town. Put anyone who can't get in line in jail. Ah, damn, what was that? We could turn things around here. Get out of here! Watch out for what's yours. Keep it close, because those people will take it right out from under you. What's your problem? <laughs> what you Another plan? Get out of here! Maneuvering and miscellaneous strategy. I didn't hear a damn thing. Up in this pile in the first place. Just take the money back, apologize, and hope they only cut off something in the suit. Hmm. You know, before they started putting up the really big houses over there. Anyway, to this day, I think my ma's maybe the toughest fucking lady I ever met. All right. <laughs> Retiring to what I ask? Raise chickens? <laughs> Working at that bar, I get to see new and interesting folks every day. Besides, it keeps this old boy out of trouble. Right. She's a Jew. I don't know Shit, what is he that was a gun? thinking bringing her home yeah, like that. <laughs> You got all these Dago names going up on shops around town. It's like a dang invasion. I tell my kids that. Watch out for what's yours. Keep it close. Because those people will take it right out from under you. This what? is just, me too much. Just don't let nothing happen to me. I could have served better than any man Having a good day? put on a uniform. That you could be fucking certain of. But it was my mama's dying really wish that I go to college. And I'm not a man who goes against his mother. Whatever you say. We have to figure out how much longer you're in town. There's this wonderful colored club. They have this horn player. My God. <laughs> they used to parlay a little francaise back in the day. Get off the street! Off the street! No, Talk to a no, pretty girl. No, Maybe no. cuss out somebody that needed cussing out. Make way! She's 
a joke. I don't know what he was thinking, bringing her home like that. Yeah? Check over there. Working with the Marcanos, huh? Yep. Can you send some guys to South Downs? Help keep it in our hands. Whatever you need, brother. Help is on the way. Faces of the white folks wandering in here since we took over. Like they're lost. 